Episode 4 Ohapo Container House David Wade, in collaboration with the contractor All Aspects Construction, created the Ohapo Container House in 2017. The industrial design of the house was inspired by a project in northern Maine, United States, called the Audrians House, by American architect Adam Culkin. The house sits on a 1.53-acre lot, and is surrounded by the countryside of the town of Ohapo, in the Waikato region of New Zealand. It has 3,445 square feet built, and it is almost impossible to say that it was built from containers, although you can distinguish them in the large living room. The video of episode 3, concluded with the excavation of the trenches, for the installation of the sanitary pipes, the objective of which is to safely remove the wastewater and rainwater from the building to the septic tank. Meanwhile, inside the house, the preparation of the laminated drywall panels continued, in order to obtain an adequate surface to receive the final finish paint. In addition, it has begun with the painting of the stairs, as well as, of all the exposed metal surfaces, in ebony, except for some ceilings, which were painted white. The construction of the container house is well advanced. The grinding and polishing of the floors have been completed. The electrical system is almost complete. The interior walls and ceilings, lined with laminated drywall, have been painted white, as well as some metallic ceilings, and it is only awaiting the finishing touches. The tiling is in progress. It has begun with the placement of the carpets in the bedrooms, and the installation of the lamps in the bedrooms, in the bathrooms, and in the kitchen. In addition, the placement of furniture and bathroom accessories is also underway. The main entrance hallway has been completed, with internal access to the garage. The mezzanine, which joins the two wings of the house, creates a large master bedroom, where the bathroom in this bedroom was made with a container. The kitchen has been equipped, the frame and the countertop of the center island are installed. In addition, the terrace of the south facade, on the second level, is concluded. Outside, there is already a water filtering system, and the work of placing the wooden deck for the front terrace, and the entrances, both for the main entrance of the house, as well as for the garage, have started. During the summer great strides were made with landscaping work. The ground was prepared, compacted, and improved in front of the house for the construction of the wooden retaining walls of a couple of large terraces. In addition to the creation of an interspersed planter with wide steps in the middle. Also, an elevated pool was built with concrete and cladded with wood on the left side of the main facade. The fourth goal of the project has been achieved. The house is finished. Exclusive construction that has been meticulously finished to a high standard, featuring an elegant open-plan industrial interior with custom lighting. This extraordinary house was built with 12 cargo containers, and has an open area for living dining room, equipped kitchen, and scullery, for bedrooms, office, gymnasium, three bathrooms with high-quality accessories, multimedia room, laundry, 1,507 square feet attached garage, with capacity for six cars, swimming pool, and a private cottage, rustic style, with two bedrooms, and two bathrooms. Standard type 20-foot shipping containers have been used as part of the house structure, and some of the doors are sealed, to become walls, while others remain in their original function, as doors. The outdoor front deck is a cozy place to socialize, and enjoy the elevated pool, which was built with concrete, and cladded with wood, in proportions that match a container. The pool is located at the front, on the left side of the north facade, and has infinite edges that open to the view of the countryside, on three of its sides. Also, large areas of lawns were designed, and a spectacular planter, in addition to a simple, and clear landscaping, so as not to distract the view. Inside, the lower level is open plan, to reveal the main living room, and dining room. The living room is a perfect combination of industrial design and elegance. A large contemporary and equipped kitchen, which also has a scullery, and a central island, the base of which is covered with corrugated steel. The industrial scale automatic glass door slides vertically upwards to blend seamlessly with the outside, allowing access to a large front terrace and to the elevated pool. 
Natural light prevails everywhere, and serves to passively heat polished concrete floors, through double glazed windows. On the ground floor, the two-level building has polished concrete floors, with a hydronic underfloor heating system, a pellet fireplace, a large back-covered patio, and open living spaces. Spaces maximized by using the areas outside the containers. Some of the interior walls and ceilings have been left intact. Each of the two wings is made up of a set of six containers, and each set consisted of three containers, stacked on top of three other containers. Both sets are linked by a huge atrium, which is 26.3 feet high at its peak. Also, on this level are located a multimedia room and a bedroom, with space for a double bed, both with access to the rear covered patio. In addition to a bathroom with shower, a laundry room, and the attached garage, with capacity for six cars. A central double steel staircase, made to measure, interconnects the social living spaces, on the ground floor, with the private levels of the upper wings, where three bedrooms are located. Some of the waste from the containers was reused in different areas of the house, and long industrial handles were even made for the bedroom doors. The master bedroom has space for a double bed, a large dressing room, and a bathroom with shower, bathtub, double wash basin, and high-quality accessories. Also, there is a second bedroom, with space for a double bed. Both have access to the upper terrace, and enjoy magnificent views of Lake Rotomanuka. The third bedroom has space for a single bed, and it was built with a shipping container. On the second level, there is another bathroom with shower, bathtub, and high-quality accessories. In addition, a gymnasium with good ventilation, natural lighting, and a practical office. Each of them built from a container. The house has insulation and coating, both outside and inside. To achieve adequate insulation and optimization of space, the interior walls of the container house were sprayed with expansive polyurethane foam, while glass wool thermal acoustic insulation bats were used on the ceilings. The lining was made with laminated drywall panels, with a final white finish. The exterior insulation was conducted with a permeable building envelope. Meanwhile, the cladding was made with corrugated metal sheets in ebony color, and corrugated metal sheets were used for the gable roof's covering. The main focus of this container house is socializing. Here, the large beautiful open spaces have come to prominence, combining to create a warm setting for summer barbecues, unforgettable poolside cocktails, luscious lunches, overlooking the lake, and the countryside. The cottage was made with a wooden structure, with a rustic style in ebony color, also faces north, and it is on a lower level than the container house. The interior insulation of the walls and ceilings was made with thermal acoustic glass wool bats. Wood was used for the lining of the ceilings and laminated drywall for the walls. The exterior insulation was conducted with a permeable building envelope, the cladding was conducted with fiber cement slats on the walls, and corrugated metal sheets were used for the gable roof covering. On the front facade, there are three folding glass doors and an attractive wooden terrace where you can socialize and enjoy the magnificent green surroundings. It consists of living dining area, kitchenette, two bedrooms, and two bathrooms. With an initial budget of NZ $500,000, excluding land and shipping containers. The partial cost benefit study conducted yielded favorable figures to select the project and carry it out with a steel structure building with containers versus a local traditional wooden local construction. The surprising end result of this project, applying residential cargitecture, was feasible due to the support of a formidable team of contractors, with open minds, willing to think creatively, reusing cargo containers, employing sustainable concepts, and using methods of unconventional construction. Currently, Salvador Solis Rizzo is executing a project on the application of cargitecture to affordable and sustainable living spaces through the video channel on YouTube, Casa Container Door, La Alternativa. In addition, he has the board, container house, architecture with containers, cargitecture, on Pinterest. You can also follow him on his author page on Amazon. The electronic address of each of the mentioned sites appears on the screen. For any questions or comments, please contact him at casacontainerdoor at yahoo.com. Thank you.